Uh, Senator Babette, would you like to say a few words from the uh, independent crossbench? <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to echo exactly what uh, Maura said there, the importance of being involved in the political process. It is so crucially important. I think what tends to happen is, you know, people like us, we have so many things going on. We're going to work, you know, we're uh, raising children, we're paying our taxes, paying our bills, you know, keeping our families together and things like this. And this probably doesn't go for the people in this room right now, but the people at home is what I'm trying to speak to, is we don't really have time to really think about the intricacies and the and the uh, the going ons of politics, and that's a mistake. Because when you don't do that, you end up with the devils in charge. That's who becomes in charge. The people that really don't care about any single one of us here, me or you, and uh, these people end up in positions of great power, and then they then then they um they put in place garbage like we're seeing today. So today, what I think we live in is we live in a post truth society. That's where we live in now, where, where a man with a penis can call himself a woman. I mean, if you had asked me that 10 years ago, I would have thought you were mad. I would have thought, what have you been drinking and can I have some? That's what I would have thought. But you know what? Um, the, like Morris said, it can all be changed. You know, everything can be overturned. And I think what we're seeing now is we're seeing a very great movement, a great push, a push by people that are that, that are really fed up with what they've seen uh, going on. They're standing up, you're all standing up, people at home, you're all standing up, and you're all having your voice heard. Movements like this take time. That it, it doesn't just happen overnight. So don't be discouraged. Get in those trenches, keep fighting, take the arrows if you have to. If you have to take the arrows, take them. Catherine's has taken plenty herself. So share the load, take a few yourself, but be strong in the knowledge that it will change and it will get better. And one day, hopefully in a not too distant future, we will over, we will overturn these crazy these crazy laws that have been implemented. But I'd like to I'd like you to think about this as well. There are people that run society at the moment at the very highest levels, at the very highest levels that want to see nothing less than the complete destruction of our society. This is just one of the ways that they are doing it. If they can destroy the very fabric of what it means to be male or female, that only emboldens them and that gives them more power. So I like to think of it, and I'm gonna go off on, on a bit of a tangent here, but in a way, in a way, it's a battle between good and evil, between right and wrong. That's what we're facing here. Now, obviously, um, we're coming at this from, from a gendered perspective, a sex per pers perspective, where women are very much losing their rights in our society today, but it goes so much deeper than that. There is a, There are forces at work in this place and in the world right now that do not care about any of us here. So be strong, keep fighting, and just know that there are people in this building that are in your corner. There aren't enough of us, but if you are um, proactive and you're involved in the political process, next election, it'll be here before you know it. We'll have a few more. And then the next one after that, we'll have a few more, and then we can change this for the better. So thank you, ladies and gents. Thank you.